What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Zeta and Omicron. Today, we are taking on Red, the so-called strongest trainer in this region and the leader of the 5th Secret Sigil Hall, the Hall of Legends. I am pretty dang excited. It's been a little bit since I played this and I kind of forgot where we were up to. Then I turned on the game and realized Red is standing right here in front of us and we're actually going to take him on. Alright, let's be honest. Did you really expect him to actually say anything? Because he always does that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess we gotta take a step back. This guy is so badass that we can't even fight him face to face. We gotta take a few steps back to take him on. This is some really epic music right now. I am excited, man. It's been a little bit. So since the last episode, a lot of stuff has actually happened. And I've kind of been on a little laziness slump here. Oh my gosh, this music, man. It's not like the original Red, but... Is, it, is this some kind of remix? I can't even tell right now. It just sounds awesome. I'm glad that it's like a little bit different, you know? Because... I don't know. It's just like if it was the same one as HeartGold Soul Silver. It makes it... It sets it apart is what I'm trying to say. This is a different game, so we got some different music going on. But it looks like we're going to have almost the same team here for him. As we predict somehow that electric move. I honestly didn't even think to predict it, I just sent out Dingus because I was thinking, you know, an Earth-type move would probably kill this Pikachu, so let's just go for Dingus. But anyway, I've been on a little bit of a lazy slump, I will admit, ever since I did that last top 10, I've kind of been feeling like, wait, what the heck? Why did we get paralyzed? Why do we get paralyzed when we send out- I, I don't understand. What the heck? Did Pikachu use, like, some kind of move that- paralyzes us I don't I, I wasn't paying attention like always this always happens I don't pay attention and then I don't see what ended up happening either way we do get through that paralysis and take out the blast toys so red so far little bit of a pushover not gonna lie I was kind of expecting you know a pretty big challenge here but uh oh here comes the Charizard and I don't think he's gonna have any mega evolutions or anything like that but he is going to have a Flare Blitz and Charizard, which still packs quite a punch. Almost level 120, which I am pretty sure is the max level in this game. But yeah, after I did that- what the heck? Okay, so it is a move. It's Live Wired. So Pikachu used a move that didn't affect- wait, I guess it might do damage as well, but it's basically like a hazard move that induces paralysis. That is actually really, really annoying, and I- Honestly hope that it never comes to the real Pokemon because oh my gosh That's like worse than sticky web man. You thought sticky web was bad. No, this is this is honestly worse because your Sticky web puts your speed down by one stage. This one cuts it in half. I'm pretty sure paralysis cuts your speed in half, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but either way paralysis takes down your speed by a lot and you also have that chance of not even hitting your moves so Overall, definitely a lot more annoying than Sticky Web. I honestly hope that never comes to the real game. But uh, ever since making that top 10, it took me a while to make it. I guess like after I finished, I was just like, yes, I did it. I finished it. And then after that, I went on a lazy spree and I haven't recorded in a couple of days, which I should probably get back to because we have a few friends coming over in a little bit and I should probably make some videos before they do so that I actually have stuff to upload for you guys. But Either way, uh, Zeta and Omicron is almost coming to a close, and honestly, I'm feeling pretty pumped. Are you kidding me? Is there, like, I want to get rid of this thing. This is so dumb. Either that or we just don't swap out our Pokemon. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. He does have a Mega Evolution. It's going to be Mega Venusaur. Pretty interesting stuff there, and I'm pretty sure this guy's got Thick Fat, so our Flamethrower is not even going to be that great. But it should still do some good damage. Actually, way more than half, but that was a critical hit, so never mind. I just realized the little symbol that it has next to uh, the HP sign. Oh my, what? Okay, what is up with the critical hits in this battle today? Oh my gosh. Everyone has been getting critical hits left and right today. That is crazy. Oh well, I guess mine is going to go down, but it's okay. I wonder if you can avoid live wire with flying Pokemon, just like Sticky Web. Because in that case, Mr. Egg, you should be the one handling this, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to. Oh, he avoided it. Awesome. That is good. All is right in the world. Thank goodness for that, actually, because... All right, never mind. The Mega Venusaur is still faster. And another critical. 
I'm pretty sure every single attack this game has, so far has been a critical. Except that one. And one other one. But you know what? There's been a lot of criticals. So either way, I am pretty excited to actually try and wrap up this game in the upcoming days. I also am pretty excited that I don't have Lilu on this team because he could handle a Snorlax. No problem. You know, actually, uh, it is kind of a problem right now. I didn't bring any physical attackers to this game. And here comes a Snorlax. So that's not good. At least we have Earthquake. That's like our best shot right now. But actually, I don't know if Snorlax, he has beastly defense and special defense, so it doesn't even matter. We would be in a bad shape anyway. I should actually try and go for some Skulls and see if I can... Oh, never mind, he's got Ice Beam too. I was gonna say, maybe we can uh, have that Giga Impact not do that. Another critical hit! Come on, do you like have King's Rock on all your Pokemon or what is going on here? Jesus, what the heck, man? This guy... And we still have that live wire out. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do this battle. All right, TSM, get out there. Show them your moves. Show them how it's done. I can't... Wait. The live wire is gone now, I think. That's cool. Okay. So we might actually have a chance now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to full restore Poseidon. We saw that he has Ice Beam, so I'm going to assume that, you know, that won't kill Poseidon. It's pretty obvious that an Ice Beam wouldn't kill Poseidon, being four times resistant to it but anyway I just gotta hope that Poseidon gets a critical hit somehow and we can take this guy out because Mr. Egg is not gonna do anything thankfully that live wire is gone that's really good actually oh uh, we could go for waterfall but I don't I don't know if he has better special defense or whatever so we're just gonna go with our strength our special attack here and that is gonna do freaking no damage even with our life orb awesome stuff please get a critical hit just something I'm crossing my fingers as hard as I can. They're about to snap. All right. We're probably going to get taken out by a Giga Impact here. But Mr. Egg can come back and take him out with an Air Slash. So it's all good. Oh, we actually survived it. Okay. Okay, I like this. Now, his last Pokemon. I'm going to say it's probably like Espeon. Since that's usually what he's got. Wait, does he have Espeon? Oh, no. We killed ourselves. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Egg at 50 HP. Versus one final Pokemon coming out of red. And it is Espeon, so I predicted that one right. Okay, the Stall Wars begin, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I don't know, honestly, what I'm going to be able to do against this Espeon. But if we are to stand anything of a chance, we have got to... What the heck does that attack do? Oh my gosh. Why did that do so much damage? I have no idea. But at least it lowered his special attack. Which might be bad because I think Psycho Boost does something depending on your stat boost or lowering. So maybe the lower that his special attack goes, the stronger Psycho Boost becomes. Never mind. It's actually really, really bad now. So thankfully, I think we've got this battle in the bag now. Let's just uh, go for a Shadow Ball. With two special attack drops, this should be doing nothing to us unless he got like a critical hit. So honestly, I think we've got this battle in the bag. He's now at minus six special attack, the lowest you can even go. So really, it doesn't get any lower than this for Espeon. Should I risk it? Should I just go for the attack? I don't think he can kill us. Gosh, I don't know if I want to risk this, man. I just, I don't, I don't, you know what? Why risk it, right? What's, what's the point of risking it? We just, we should just go for the potion and, and then see what he's got. Probably, oh, he's just going to keep going psycho boost. All right, well, we could have risked it, but whatever. You know what? Sometimes I like to live life on a, on the, how do you say that? Sometimes I like to live life on the edge. Today is not one of those times. Because we have just defeated the strongest trainer in the Bezrin region, Red. And he's still not going to say anything. Oh, but he's going to add some exclamation marks. So watch out. Watch out, everybody. The exclamation marks has come out. I see you beat me here, Mose. <gasps> Oh, little Moe's, I see you've also mastered the ability to tesserate through space. It's too late, though. See, I am here to challenge Red, the greatest trainer of them all. I will sacrifice him to Devavis. I will have power eternal and rule the... Wait, what? What? Sorry, man. It's just when you're saying this, like, super important speech, you can't have a typo like that, bro. I mean, not really, not even a typo, just, like, you saying that. What is this guy's name? Zeus? Yeah, Zeus, what, what's up, man? What's up? What's up with it? 
To sacrifice him and absorb his strength, I have to defeat him in a battle. I've beaten you once before, but that was a long time ago. The years haven't touched either of us, I see. You still look the same as ever. The only thing I lost was the L in my name. I don't get it. Wasn't this guy gold before? Uh, I, I don't, I don't really get it. Let me destroy you, let me sacrifice you, and ruler the world! I think he's gonna rule the world with a ruler. Oh, no way! This is too good! You battled Red, you defeated all his Pokemon! All of Red's Pokemon are fainted and unable to battle. I win by default! No, you, that's not how it works, man! When you faint, you black out. If Red would have blacked out, he wouldn't be here. He should be at a Pokemon Center right now. This is not the way the world works, Zeus. I'm sorry. No, you can't do this! See how reality itself bends when our- what? So reality bending just means there's a yellow tint on everything. Alright! We are gods! Well, you might have the names of gods, but I don't know if they actually are gods. Also, is that Jake or is that actually Gary? I don't- I don't know. This is just too good! The friends and family of the hero have come here to save him, just in time! How delightfully adorable! Go, Team Olympus! This is your chance to redeem yourselves! Destroy these three! I have my own little grudge to deal with! Mose, you've humiliated me time and time again, but now I have Devavis, the true form of the Divine Plate of Arceus! But now, thanks to you, Red has left this world! I have gained infinite power, and Mose, it's all your fault! Now look at me as we battle. I want to see the last glimmer of hope extinguished from your eyes. All right, this is not bueno. No bueno, and I ain't talking about the new Taco Bell combo because we have got to defeat Zeus with all level 120 Pokemon while all of our Pokemon are dead. And we don't have Lilu. So... Even when DeBavis comes out, what the heck are we gonna do? And Red is dead. So, I mean, I guess that's pretty sad too, but I don't know. Speed boosting ninjas. Just what I ordered for Christmas. Sorry, I was had a little bit of a slip up there. By that I mean burp, which is really I don't I don't really know if that's really a thing to apologize for. So whatever, if it is or isn't, and I'm sorry, because we are about to get destroyed by this guy. At least we're giving- we're given a chance to actually heal up our Pokemon here. And Ninjask- oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, no longer should we waste our time healing our Pokemon. Gosh dang it. Ah, Baton Pass Ninjask. Alright, so we don't even get a chance to heal up because... He's just gonna Baton Pass it right along. What the heck are we supposed to do? Tetra, can you do this? I, I don't believe that Tetra can do this. He's gonna get Ice Beamed and die. Awesome! All of our Pokemon are dead. Yep. Alright. I honestly have no idea what the heck we're gonna do. Uh, so I guess we lost. I've already conceded the Pete. It's cool. Because he's gonna hit us with a nice electric attack now. Unless he somehow, like, choice special attack, whatever the one is called. Nope. No, he's not. Alright. Well... Poseidon is dead now. Dingus is about to die. Mai is gonna come out and be able to do nothing. So, we just wasted all of our healing items and we're still gonna lose. So what the heck are we to do with our lives? I have no idea. I think I might have to develop, actually, you know what I could have done? Is healed up everyone during the time we were battling Espeon. But how the heck was I supposed to know that we were gonna battle this guy right after red i also think if we lose we probably get a chance to battle him again but not red because well red is sucked up into the netherverse right now or whatever the heck he's sucked up into i have no idea what kind of attack did you just use that did so much damage to my this is not good all right we burned it at least so that's that's okay i think um you know what my I know that we're not in a good spot here, but this is what we gotta do, man. We gotta do what we gotta do. And that means calling you a man, even though you're a girl. Again, this is, this is a recurring thing. Alright! Somehow the burn made him slower. Um, because I'm pretty sure that's still a plus, like, three 
speed boosted Electros. Okay, we might have a chance. We might. All right, especially if you send out Metagross, you know, we might just have a chance. Never mind, because he's going to Earthquake us, and this is not going to one-shot him. So, yep. Um, wait a second. The burn. <gasps> can we survive this hit? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, my gosh. My right now. My right now. Oh, boy. Okay. I like where this is going. I like where this is going, but I don't like that I don't have any max revives right now. Uh, so, we just gotta keep hoping to get lucky. Like that song. We gotta stay up all night, man. I actually stayed up all night yesterday because my friend Sully... Gosh! Alright, we're done. <laughs> well, we tried and in Lincoln Park, and now we're dead. Awesome. And the, the Pokemon Center is yellow. The Pokemon Center is yellow. All right, never mind. It's fixed now. Great. So I guess we lost. And I have a feeling we're going to have to do some training. Honestly, we have to bring Lilu along. But which other team member will we replace in order to bring Lilu along? We either have to... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, who's the least helpful right now? Mr. Egg actually did a lot, despite... I don't know, I think I'd either say Mr. Egg, or Poseidon? Or Tetra? I don't... I don't know, we have to separate someone, though, because we need TSM in order to use Tesseract to get back in that cave. I just really wish we could, like, put Tesseract on Lilu. That would be the best scenario here. But anyway, I don't think we're ready to take that guy on yet. So what we're going to do is next time we are going to come back and try to battle him again. But for today, we are going to go do another one of those uh, missions. So let's go to Bianga City, I think is where the thing is. Uh, the Pokemon Ranger Club. No, the Pokemon Ranger Club is in Kibu Town. So here I think is where the Police Academy is though. So let's go check it out and go do a mission for the police club. At last, we're almost to an end. Mewtwo's clone army is defeated, and we've tracked him down to a small island on the Bezrin coast. Go! Finish him off once and for all. So I guess we're gonna catch ourselves a Mewtwo here. Um, I actually don't really want to do this mission right now. I, I probably should have done the Pokemon Ranger mission, but... Alright, I guess it doesn't matter. Look at all these clone Pokemon that we cannot catch, and there's Mewtwo, so... Never mind, I wanted to do some training. Guess what we're gonna do instead is apparently catch Mewtwo. And no one has any moves to help me to paralyze or put him to sleep or anything like that. So this will probably be pretty tough. I expected to be left alone to live my life in peace. But now I see, you will not stop until I am defeated. As you wish, Mose. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. Let us begin! Ooh. It's fancy, fancy Mewtwo. You got a little transition card for yourself there, buddy. I like that. Nice. Level 50 Mewtwo. Are you freaking kidding me? How the heck are we ever supposed to... Okay, alright. Maybe if you put up your special defense, you know, that could help out. And... Alright. I could actually just use my Master Ball. We have two of them. Honestly, I might just do that. But you know what? Let's try an Ultra Ball. It's probably not even going to shake once, because... Why the heck would it, right? And never mind. We almost caught it on the first freaking try. All right. How about a friend ball, you know? If we catch Mewtwo, I really do want him to be our friend. I don't want him to think, you know, we caught him out of spite or revenge or like being mean. All right, never mind. He doesn't want to be our friend. Well then, you know, I could sit here and keep trying, but honestly, What's the fun in that, right? Using a Master Ball is much more fun, because you just, you know it's going to catch it. You can pretend that it's not and be like, <gasps> Three Shakes! Oh my gosh, we're going to get it! But then you just catch it anyway, because it's a Master Ball, and it catches everything, so... Let's just do that. Why not? We've got two of them, so if another roaming Pokemon comes out later, we can use it on that. <gasps> Will we catch it, guys? Oh my gosh! <gasps> two Shakes! Three! <gasps> Whoa! We did it! Wow! Loisimos, we did it. I don't think they clap in the door song, but I can pretend. A Pokemon that was created by genetic manipulation. However, even though the scientific power of humans made its body, they failed to give it a warm heart. 
the most important part of any Pokemon and your balanced breakfast, a warm heart. So we're gonna name this guy, um, uh, H Heart. Ha! Ah, you've got a nickname now, Mewtwo. Good job. Heart. That is his name. He's like the little boy from Captain Planet. You know, they would all have their own powers and then he would just go, Heart! It's kind of weird. I always found that pretty funny. It's just like, all the kids have powers and then they just give the one kid heart. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just funny. It's like, you don't you don't get a real element. You just get heart, buddy. Sorry. Are you here to do another mission? That's right. <gasps> Wait. Uh, how about no? They don't have any more missions. See, I don't know if pressing yes here will actually give us another mission. What's the license plate? I don't understand. We could probably make you a fake exterminator's license. Okay. All right. Now we have the VIP license and... What? So do they have another mission or not? I don't understand. He said he has no more missions. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go to Kibu Town, I guess, and go do one of those other missions, the, the Pokemon Rangers one. Since that was, it seems to be the last Pokemon Ranger or bu Police Academy, whatever the heck their name is. I don't know, man. We're going to go do this now, though, because I'm pretty sure this one will actually have training for us to do. So... Here we go, we have no real missions left to do. You've destroyed the Gigarima once and for all. However, we believe there may be a lost egg in the ruins of the tower. We'd like you to search it. If there's a Pokemon left behind, we want you to rescue it. That's what being a ranger is all about. I wouldn't know what being a ranger is all about, because I ain't... I'm not a ranger, man. Wait, is it... Didn't we do this? Oh no, we went here before, but... We didn't actually, like, do anything here. And I question what would happen <clears throat> if you didn't have Waterfall. But this one, you actually can leave if you just go back into that little cave you came out of, I guess. Uh, but there we go. We're going to get an egg out of this. And I doubt we're going to be able to carry it because we don't have... I hope it goes to the PC on automatically. Dang it! Oh, I really never like this. I mean, I don't know if there's like no way to code it so that it just goes to the PC, but... Gosh, I just always hated how you have to have a space for the egg. Because it means you have to go all the way back down and to a PC to get yourself a space and it's, it's just more annoying than anything honestly, but at least they have a PC right here. Oh, no Okay, please don't glitch on me. This would be amazing if you would just not glitch. Thank you so much I really appreciate that. All right Let's go back and get the egg and that will probably wrap up this episode guys So I will most likely do a little bit of training off screen just a little bit Maybe get our Pokemon a little bit caught up to uh, Zeus. And we will see what happens. Because honestly, I don't know how this is going to go. I have no idea if we can beat him or not. But I have a feeling that if I just use what I said earlier and heal up our Pokemon during the battle with Espeon, we will be totally fine. Because also that and get Lilu. Because Lilu could actually be really, really helpful. So there we go. We got ourselves the egg. We can't fly out of here, which is really... Man, I just wish you could just... Uh, can you just fly out of here? Because... Come on, man. I don't I don't want to have to walk. Like, who, who likes walking? I kind of like walking, actually. But there we go. That is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And next time, we will take on Zeus once again and hopefully defeat him by 